Hey everyone, it's Adam for RealHomeRecording.com. In past tutorials, I've tried to hammer it into your head that recording at proper levels is the way to go. But sometimes you might receive some crappy audio that you didn't record or your audio might overload despite it being recorded at proper levels. So if you ever had audio that sounded something along these lines. Leadership that does not push issues to dress up one's resume for the next office up. I think it's a disaster that we're pushing. Now that is analog distortion. Maybe a little bit of digital distortion as well, but it sounds a lot like the wireless input, if that's what it was, was overloaded. Um, or the person's camera was overloaded. It's also called overmodulation, and it just sounds nasty. It doesn't sound clear like good audio should. So today we're going to use one of my favorite programs. I could not live without this program because it just fixes things so easily that we're screwed up during the tracking process. So first of all, uh, the program's name, if you didn't see this up here, is Isotope RX2, and it's great. So up here under the process menu, I'm going to go to declip, and I'll bring this over here in the middle so you can see it better. And the way this program works is you choose how good of a quality for the declipper that you want. I don't really know why you would choose low or medium but they give you that as an option. I guess if you have a really, really long track and need something turned around really fast, like in a broadcast television situation, maybe that's what that's for. But um, I always choose high. And then um, by default, if, if you don't have anything selected, it selects everything. So I'm gonna hit the compute button. And now we have this. And what we do is basically we, we press the preview button and try to get it to sound better by messing with the clipping threshold control. Leadership that does not push. Obviously sounds bad. So what we're going to do is bring this down. I'm going to bring it down to past where this peak point is because this is very, very distorted. And listen to what this sounds like. And I will also bring down the makeup gain, which is another important control. I'll bring that down to like negative eight. Leadership that does not push issues to dress up one's resume for the next office. It's better, but it's still not as good as I want it to sound. So I'll bring this down even more. And makeup gain has also been adjusted. Oops. I'll preview that. Leadership that does not push issues to dress up one's resume. See, now it's starting to not sound as clear as I want it. It's kind of getting this pillowy effect, for lack of a better word. So I'm going to drop this back up to negative uh, 6.5. Leadership that does not push issues to dress up one's resume for the next office up. I think it's a disaster that we're pushing. Okay, I'll try dropping this back to seven and listen again. Maybe it, it sounds better than I think it does. It still has a distorted sound to it. And I just want to make sure. Leadership that does not push issues to dress up one's resume for the next office up. I think it's a disaster that we're pushing. Leadership that does not push issues. Leadership that does not push issues to dress up one's resume for the next office up. I think it's a disaster that we're pushing. I'm going to leave it at negative seven and I'm going to watch my meter down here and make sure I don't clip anything. I just reset it by clicking it. Leadership that does not push issues to dress up one's resume 
for the next office up. I think it's a disaster that we're pushing. Okay, I'm going to bring this down just a little bit on the makeup gain. And now I'm going to process it. Leadership that does not push issues to dress up one's resume for the next office up. I think it's a disaster that we're pushing. Leadership that does not push issues to dress up one's resume. It's still a little distorted, but not nearly as bad as it used to be. Leadership that does not push issues. Leadership that does not push issues to dress up one's resume for the next office up. And because I back down on the distortion and the volume's lower, but really just putting a compressor on there, one that won't destroy the signal, but will just make it more even and also louder, we'll fix that. So what we lost in distortion and in volume, we've gained in clarity and really um, distorted audio just sounds very amateur. I'm, I'm surprised this audio sounds so bad because uh, the video that it's attached to was, was recorded very well. But um, the other thing is this clip is taken from compressed audio. And I'm wondering if that could also be the reason it's not getting rid of nearly as much distortion as I'm used to, because I know this program can do better. But even with a AAC compressed source, it still does a pretty damn good job. Leadership that does not push issues to dress up one's resume for the next office up. I think it's a disaster that we're pushing. Leadership that does not. So that's it. This has been Adam for realhomerecording.com.